This story came out in March of 2013. So really almost two years ago. 20 months or so. And I hadn't heard it. So I thought I'd put it out. It's, uh came out in the journal Icarus called The Wow Signal of Intelligent Design. Uh, the Wow Signal of the Terrestrial Genetic Code. Excuse me, not the intelligent design thing. The Wow Signal of the Terrestrial Genetic Code. And you have to purchase the whole thing, the journal, uh, the article. It's $36, which is ridiculous that we don't have access to this information. But I found an article and the abstract that has some information, at least we can read a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's the Wow Signal refers to what SETI picked up, I think, in 1977 that hasn't been duplicated yet. So they used that for the title of their their paper. I'm going to link to the the paper if you want to buy it um, or read the abstract for yourself. I'm just going to kind of skim through a couple parts here of the abstract. Uh, about halfway through, the code is a flexible mapping between codons and amino acids, and this flexibility allows modifying the code artificially. But once fixed, the code might stay unchanged over cosmological times timescales. In fact, it is the most durable construct known. Therefore, it represents an exceptionally reliable storage for an intelligent signature, if that conforms to biological and thermodynamic requirements. As the actual scenario for the origin of terrestrial life is far from being settled, the proposal that it might have been seeded intentionally cannot be ruled out. A statistically strong, intelligent-like signal in the genetic code is then a testable consequence of such scenario. Here, we show that the terrestrial code displays a thorough, precision-type orderliness matching the criteria to be considered an informational signal. Simple arrangements of the code reveal an ensemble of arithmetical and ide ideographical patterns of the same symbolic language. Accurate and systematic, these underlying patterns appear as a product of precision logic and non-trivial computing rather than of stochastic processes. The patterns are profound to the extent that the code mapping itself is uniquely deduced from their algebraic representation. The signal displays readily recognizable hallmarks of artificiality, among which are the symbol of zero, the privileged <clears throat> decimal syntax, and semantical symmetries. Besides, extraction of the signal involves logically straightforward but abstract operations, making the pattern essentially irreducible to any natural origin. Plausible ways of embedding the signal into the code and possible interpretation of its content are discussed, if you pay $36. Overall, while the code is nearly optimized biologically, its limited capacity is used extremely efficiently to pass non-biological information. And then it goes to talk about nucleon transfer in proline, and how such nucleon transfer thus appears artificial. It protects the pattern from any natural explanation. Minimizing the chances for appealing to natural origin is a distinct concern for messaging of such kind. Like you don't want it to look natural. You want it to look fake or artificial. And this problem seems to be solved perfectly for the signal in the genetic code. Applied systematically without exceptions, the artificial transfer in proline enables holistic and precise order in the code. Thus, it acts as an activation key. So is it possible at all to embed informational patterns into the code so that they could be unequivocally interpreted as an intelligent signature? <clears throat> the answer seems to be yes. And one way to do it is to make visual patterns, not actual. Exactly what is observed in the genetic code. Strict balances and decimal syntax appear only with the application of the activation key. In effect, the proline nucleon transfer is like a decoder ring that makes the signal apparent and all the blocks balance out. Some other signs of artificiality are the fact that the nucleon sums are multiples of 37. The stop codons act as zero in a decimal system, and all the three-digit decimals, 111, 222, and so forth, appear at least once in the code, which also looks like an intentional feature. Stuff's crazy. 
So summing up uh, from what the information I could find, in total, not only the signal itself reveals intelligent-like features, strict nucleon equalities, their distinctive decimal notation, logical transformations accompanying the equalities, the symbol of zero, and semantic symmetries, but the very method of its extraction involves abstract operations, consideration of idealized free and unmodified molecules, distinction between their blocks and chains, the activation key, contraction and decomposition of codons. We find that taken together, all these aspects point to artificial nature of the patterns. So they concluded it's from panspermia that happened outside the solar system a long time ago. How they got that conclusion, who knows? Um, I guess they just, if they printed the word God in their paper, it'll probably never get published. This reminded me of an old Star Trek The Next Generation episode where they kind of like follow keys on different planets to, to fit together a puzzle that eventually leads them somewhere. And then once all the pieces are assembled, like the grand creator, like the panspermia race shows themselves that they wanted to live on and by planting their seed on different planets, you know, it would enable them to live on through the different races that they're all not separate. You know, they all come from the same origin, which is probably what happens. You know, the information gets put on different planets and through either morphic resonance or whatever, you know, it expresses itself differently based on the different planets, you know, the different ecosystems that it's involved in with their stars and, and their atmospheres, but it all basically, I think, starts at the same place. Just my opinion.